Hey y'all, how are all my beautiful friends doing? I hope y'all all are having a great day or night, whatever time you're watching this. And welcome back to Crime Time with Mal. If you have no idea who the heck I am, hi and welcome. My name is Mallory and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I appreciate every single one of y'all for taking the time out to watch my videos. And in today's video is about Tristan Bailey. It's an update. I haven't done an update in quite a while. Um, if you don't know about Tristan Bailey's case, I have a whole playlist over here on my channel. I will link it up here if y'all are interested to go check it out. But we're gonna follow through with this because court is coming up for Aiden very soon. Real quick, Tristan was 13 years old. Tristan Bailey, she was a cheerleader in Florida and she was stabbed over a hundred times by her 14 year old classmate, Aiden Fucci. Today's video, like I said, we're gonna go over the updates because I have missed some updates over the past few months, as well as him threatening some inmates and he's just not doing himself any justice in jail right now. I'm not gonna go into the backstory other than what I did in my intro with Tristan, just because I have covered her case before and those that are familiar, I don't wanna sound repetitive, but I would greatly encourage y'all to check out that playlist. If you are not familiar, if it's been a while, you need a refresher. Now records have shown that Aiden has gotten into multiple fights in jail. He has also threatened other inmates, correction officers, as well as their families. Now I'm not gonna list every single one of them, but on December 25th, 2021, a corrections officer witnessed Aiden hit another inmate. The other inmate then punched Aiden multiple times and as of now, Aiden is currently in solitary confinement. But allegedly, he's telling people that as soon as he gets back out into GP, he's gonna them because he's real, because he's B-I-T-C-H-E-S's to their face and takes their life, literally bragging in jail, which I really, really hope they can use this in trial. Aiden has also been accused of extorting commissionary items from an inmate using fear. He is threatening another inmate about their life as well as their family's lives in order to get commissionary items that they have received. The defense asked for Aiden to move out of Duval County Jail as well as for the venue of the trial to be changed. His attorney argued that there is no impartial jury that is out there in the region because of how public this case has been. They continued by saying the community was involved with a search with Tristan, as well as they have held multiple vigils and multiple memorials for Tristan. So they are very close to this case. They feel like they would automatically assume that Aiden is guilty without hearing the defense's case. The defense also brought up when the state's attorney made a public statement saying that they believe that this was a premeditated murder because she was stabbed over a hundred times and that was over a hundred times that Aiden had the chance as he was going down to stop what he was doing and actually think about it. And instead he continued to proceed with this horrific crime. But I had to say, I do agree with them on that. I mean, why should they have not said that? I don't understand. That's just their observation. And that is true. I mean, that, he had over a hundred times that he could have stopped at any point. But no, in my opinion, he had rage and he wanted to make sure that Tristan was not alive. Now, again, the defense also asked for Aiden to be moved out of Duval County Jail because for the majority of the time, he has been in solitary confinement. They said he's alone in his cell 24 hours a day. Aiden is denied access to any indoor or outdoor recreations, and he's not allowed to eat his meals outside of his cell. I, I mean, yeah, yes, he is in solitary confinement because the boy doesn't know how to act. He's doing stupid crap. What do they expect him to do? Just be in general population to threaten all the inmates and the corrections officers? Absolutely not. 
Now the St. John's County Sheriff said that he does not feel like Aiden should be able to pick and choose what jail he goes to because he lost that right when he got indicted on the charges that he got indicted for. Absolutely, I agree with that. And as of now, the trial is not getting moved. Aiden is staying put in Duval County Jail. Now the state did say that Aiden is not eligible for a capital case because of his age, which means that he is not eligible for the death penalty, but he is eligible for life in prison. And honestly, I know this is a touchy subject and I myself go back and forth on this for a lot of different reasons, but in some way, especially Aiden's age, I think life in prison for Aiden and somebody like Aiden who's cocky and arrogant and I could go on and on about how I feel about this kid, but for somebody like Aiden, I think life in prison is going to be more torture than being able to be like, okay, well, I have an end date and I don't have to deal with this crap anymore. Also, Aiden is eligible for a six person jury instead of a 12 panel jury. And now the defense normally from what I no, they usually like to have a bigger jury. They like to have a 12 panel jury because this allows more diversity and more people to hear the case that would more likely be on their side. But I'm so beyond curious what the defense is. I, <laughs> I can't wait till trial, but I do think honestly that the defense is going to pull out some insanity card, especially with that video that we saw of Aiden in the jail cell on the phone talking to demons, that in my opinion, I think is full of crap. What the going on? I don't wanna hear you demons. I don't wanna hear you demons take my soul. You demons wanna take my soul away. I don't wanna hear you demons steal my soul. I don't know what's going on. What's going on? What are you doing? There are also two recent defense filings, which Aiden's lawyer asked to keep confidential. Now this was the beginning of February, but the courts came back and ended up telling the lawyer that the motion did not meet the requirements and they gave the attorney 10 days to seek hearing on the matter. On January 20th, 2022, the judge granted the motion for the six member jury. And this is when Aiden's lawyer said that there are some pieces of evidence that are irrelevant in the case that they feel like should not be a part of evidence. Now, one example is Rose Marie, which is Aiden's lawyer, said that they didn't want all of the autopsy pictures of Tristan to be shown to the jury. They only wanted the lethal wounds to be shown. They argued because those are the only wounds that are relevant to the first degree murder charge. However, 108 108 of the 114 stab wounds were considered non-lethal wounds. That doesn't mean that Aiden didn't have the intent to Tristan. Although the medical examiner did say that if they were separate, there were non-lethal, but if they were suffered collectively, that they would be lethal. The judge ruled that the autopsy pictures will be shown to the jury, which I'm happy about that. Now, during one of the searches of Aiden's home, detectives found satanic drawings in Aiden's bedroom. And the defense now asked the judge to withhold those drawings from evidence because allegedly one child came out and admitted that they actually drew the drawings and it was a gift to Aiden. The judge ended up saying that the drawings will not be shown to the jury. There were also multiple knives collected from Aiden's room separate from the knife that was found at the pond. They also said that they wanted those to be kept from the jury and the judge ruled that those knives are not relevant to the case but the knives that were found on him and the knife that was found in the pond is admissible in court. Now, another thing that Aiden's attorney requested to be suppressed was his cell phone evidence. Six cell phones were seized during the investigation and Aiden's lawyer argues that the court should prohibit text messages, images, photos, music, videos, song lyrics, saying that the defense will use these to pursue the jury into something that it's not. But in my opinion, 
That does say a lot about who Aiden is. Text messages, photos, song lyrics, the music he's listening to. That says a lot about a child, I'm sorry, but it really does. Now the state did come back and say that they will narrow down what evidence they will use from the cell phone, come up with a plan and present it to the defense. And finally, Aiden's lawyer has been trying to get a hold of three people, one adult and two minors, but they have been uncooperative and not willing to speak. Now, Rosemarie asked the judge if he can make these people speak to her. And the judge said that he will allow the adult, but as for the minors, he is not going to make them speak unless the teens are needed at the trial. So far, the pretrial hearing is set for February 1st and the trial is set for February 6th. So coming up very, very quickly, February 1st is actually my mom's birthday, which by the time you're watching this, it should be February 1st. So happy birthday to mom if you're watching. But I will be giving updates about the trial and the preliminary hearing. I just really wanted to get this video up as soon as possible before the trial actually started. And if you are, there's a lot of trials going on right now, y'all. We are in the middle of doing Larry Maliette's preliminary hearing. So it's over now. I'm catching up to that as well. Those will be out this weekend, next week. If you do not know about May Maliette's case, please go check out my playlist. It's called Maya Meliette and that case is insane. The first few videos are a little cringe because I was pretty new to YouTube, like true crime community YouTube. So cut me some slack on that. But there's also, if you stay to the end screen, there'll be a suggested playlist and a suggested video that you would more than likely enjoy. You can continue watching that way if you would like to. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join this truly amazing community. I love each and every single one of them so much. We talk all the time and I reply to every single one of y'all's comments because I truly love to interact with y'all. So with that being said, comment down below what y'all think about this. What do you think the defense is gonna say? Do you think Aiden's gonna get life? Do you think he's going to be guilty or do you think he's gonna get like an insanity plea? I am so curious to know your thoughts and opinions. And if you have actually been following this case, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you'll have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Please stay safe and stay aware of your surroundings and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.